Greetings my fellow God Eaters, I am back with another weapon guide video and in this one we're going to talk about the blast gun and what the database has for us on the blast gun is gun part of the God Art solidly constructed to accommodate high powered bullets can fire a specially designed bullet that uses Oracle Reserve consuming less OP than ever before and it can also fire homing bullets you can only imagine what that means high OP but also high high really high damage like no joke damage like grown man damage and some of the bullets that I'm gonna show you guys today will have even the toughest of origami running for their lives after they get hit by these very powerful bullets and before I get into it I do want to say that none of these bullets are of my own creation I either got these from other online players or I found them on the God Eater 2 bullet guy wiki that got translated for us. And with that being said, the first bullet I'm going over with you guys right now is the Flame of Ruin bullet. What this bullet does in particular is it takes a lot of deco lasers and decorative shots and it travels with the double L bomb. And uh, with that anti-gravity blood chip, it increases in power the further it goes through gravity. Since it is all gravity, it gets powerful just by traveling alone. And that friend or foe will make it not hit friendlies whenever that bomb explodes. And I'll let you guys know this now. You guys are going to find that anti-gravity blood chip in just about every blast gun bullet. Or at least the very, very powerful ones. They really, really can't be stopped. The Ruined Bullet is personally my favorite because every character that fires it always has a special catchphrase to say. Mine says rest in peace, but that depend that's dependent on the character voice that you choose. The next bullet on this legendary list is the Meteor Bullet. This is one of, if not the most powerful bullets in the game. This bullet is actually used on the very, very final boss of the game called the Crimson Orochi. This Meteor Bullet will decimate that one enemy. The Meteor Bullet, despite uh, the variation of the recipe making the bullet, just the sheer damage of that bullet alone will turn the tide of any battle. Whether you're having an off day, or the origami just decides to want to beat the shit out of you that day, you use a meteor bullet and it will either kill them, or it will have them turn and run away. And luckily following the recipe is a relatively simple way to. This recipe I got I think is the most simplistic for the uh, highest amount of damage that you can do with that double L bomb. And the third and last bullet that I will be showing you guys today will be the legendary HDH bullet. This bullet goes a long, long way. What the HDH bullet has over the Meteor bullet is that while it does just slightly less damage than the initial Meteor round, it does track. So you don't have to get into an origami's face, I forgot to mention that with a Meteor bullet. But yeah, with this HDH, you can shoot it from any range and it will track on with the orb that you shoot in the air. And it will track them and it will hit them accordingly. Comparing the damage between the two, the Meteor Bullet did slightly higher damage. But the HDH Bullet can track and it can hit them from a lot further away. So, you know, when it comes to those two, those two types of bullets, you will just have to pick one over the other whichever one's your preference whichever one you would rather have and this will complete both my god eater 2 rage burst weapon guide for the actual melee weapons and this will cover the weapons as well uh that's about it for the series i can make more guides if you guys want me to but this is where i ask you guys what likes what's next what's next for god eater 2 at least I do have other creations that I do want to make, but as far as God Eater goes, God Eater is giving me the most growth on my channel. So I figured I'd ask, hey, what would you guys like to see? Like NPC guides, Perilous 99 missions? I'm at the end game, so I can do stuff like that. I can give you more tips and tricks on other uh, aspects of the game. I just want to know, 
what direction should I go? And I just want to see you guys' opinions, you know what I mean? So, if you guys can leave a comment down below, I'd appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And I'm just not used to it Try love to tell the truth I wasn't fond of it Got no patience for politics Sorry I'm no apologist Fuck a piece I want all of it Damage a nigga's confidence When Breezy graduated I thought the shit was astonishing I'm just looking for advice and shit Maybe write some shit Talk about life and shit On some other type of shit It's in my blood so I don't fight it no more So send word to my niggas I'm not retired no more Cast